In a shocking twist that has reignited discussions about the divisive influence of Meghan Markle, renowned polo player Nacho Figueres has reportedly blocked Prince Harry's phone number and erased his contact details. This dramatic move has sent ripples through royal circles and sparked intense debate among the public and royal watchers alike. Nacho Figueres, often dubbed Harry's second brother, has been a steadfast ally and close friend to Prince Harry for over a decade. Their bond, forged on the polo field and deepened through shared charitable endeavors, seemed unbreakable. Figueres, an Argentine polo star, has stood by Harry through thick and thin, from supporting his Invictus games to being a vocal defender during the Sussex tumultuous exit from royal duties. However, the latest developments suggest that even the strongest of friendships can be tested by the complexities of personal relationships and public scrutiny. The crux of the fallout appears to center around Meghan Markle, whose presence in Harry's life has been a lightning rod for controversy. Markle, an American actress turned duchess, has been a polarizing figure since her entry into the royal family. Her critics argue that she has driven a wedge between Harry and his family, while her supporters praise her for modernizing the monarchy and advocating for progressive causes. The specifics of what led Figueres to sever ties with Harry remain murky, but sources suggest that tensions have been brewing for some time. Figueres, known for his diplomacy and discretion, has reportedly grown increasingly frustrated with the direction Harry's life has taken since marrying Meghan. The couple's high-profile media engagements, including their explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey, have only added fuel to the fire. The infamous Oprah interview, where Harry and Meghan aired their grievances against the royal family, marked a significant turning point. During the interview, the couple made startling allegations, including claims of racism and neglect. While the interview garnered sympathy from some quarters, it also intensified criticism and scrutiny. For Figueres, the interview may have been the final straw. Known for his deep respect for tradition and loyalty, the public airing of private family matters likely clashed with his values. Friends close to Figueres suggest that he felt betrayed by Harry's willingness to expose intimate family issues on such a global stage. The decision to block Harry's phone number and delete his contact details is not one that Figueres would have taken lightly. This drastic step indicates a profound sense of betrayal and disillusionment. It also highlights the growing isolation Harry faces as he navigates his new life in California, far removed from the royal bubble he once inhabited. Royal watchers have been quick to weigh in on the fallout. Some see Figueroa's actions as a necessary response to what they perceive as Harry's poor judgment and Meghan's divisive influence. Others lament the loss of a friendship that once symbolized loyalty and camaraderie. Critics of Meghan Markle have seized upon this development as evidence of her negative impact on Harry's relationships. If even Nacho is cutting ties, what does that say about Meghan's influence? One user commented. Others have expressed sympathy for Figueres, noting the difficulty of maintaining a friendship under such strained circumstances. Conversely, Meghan's supporters argue that Figueres' actions are unjustified and reflect a broader resistance to change within royal circles. They contend that Meghan has faced undue criticism and that Harry's choices should be respected as part of his journey towards personal happiness and fulfillment.